In 1940, an incredible interview took place in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Nellie Atwater Strayhorn, a 95-year-old former slave, told stories of her 14 years spent in slavery in Chapel Hill to a local reporter. Nellie recounted how she spent her days plowing the fields with a mule named Duck, fetching water from the local spring to bring to the house, and helping out in the kitchen. Even in her 90s, Nellie told the reporter that she still wanted to be able to work out in the fields, proudly noting that she could do all the same work as a man could. But Nellie also sadly told the newspaper about the hard times, such as the constant worry that she would receive a whipping. If the colored people could just come back and tell you how it was, they was human too, some of us seen hard time. Nellie's life is ultimately a story of triumph over those hard times. After gaining her freedom in 1865, she met and married fellow freed slave Tony Strayhorn. Tony had grown up as a slave in Hillsboro and watched his mother get sold on the auction block when he was only 11. Even though it was forbidden, Tony spent every night hidden behind the barn teaching himself to read. His incredible tenacity would soon pay off. Tony and Nellie worked tirelessly selling vegetables in town and slowly managed to save up the money to buy a piece of land on Jones Ferry Road in Carborough. In the short span of just 10 years, Nellie and Tony went from being property to owning property. At a time when the Ku Klux Klan terrorized the South and many former slaves struggled just to survive, the simple act of Nellie and Tony owning property was stunningly brave and defiant. Once they owned the land, they cleared the forest, planted crops, and eventually saved enough money to start building a family home. By 1879, they live in a 12 by 14 log cabin that Tony built with his own two hands. Thanks to their hard work and dedication, the Strayhorns prospered throughout the horrible period in Orange County history known as Reconstruction. Today, that humble home still stands on the same site. Even more remarkably, the descendants of Nellie and Tony Strayhorn still live in it. Over the years, the home has been expanded to accommodate several generations of Strayhorn family. As the home and family grew, so did Carborough. What was once rural property on the outskirts of a small mill town is today part of downtown Carborough, a thriving arts community in University Town. Dolores Clark, the great-granddaughter of Nellie and Tony and the current resident of the house, spent her life serving the community as a nurse at Chapel Hill Pediatrics. She is deeply proud of her family home and history and has done everything possible to preserve it for future generations. She can no longer do it alone, though. The home, which is now on the National Register study list, requires more maintenance than Mrs. Clark can handle on her own. The stone foundation laid by Tony Strayhorn so many years ago has started to shift which has caused structural damage to the home. The oldest chimney on the home recently fell off during repairs. The original weatherboard siding has long been covered up by vinyl and the home has no central air conditioning. The Strayhorn House has seen over 100 years of history. It has survived Reconstruction, the Great Depression, and the Civil Rights Movement. The home is the embodiment of Nellie and Tony Strayhorn's American dream. It is a locally and nationally recognized treasure that deserves to be protected for future generations. It serves as a poignant reminder of a time and people in our nation's history that is so often forgotten and ignored. But without your help, the home cannot survive. This amazing piece of history is on the verge of destruction. Please visit the Preservation Society of Chapel Hill's website to learn how you can help the Strayhorn House live to see hundreds more years worth of history.